Now Correctional Facility, we have Warden Noah Nagy and Corrections Officer Derek Wright. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks great for having, having us. Yeah, great to have you with yeah. us. Thank you. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the show that uh, this is Veterans Week, Veterans Day uh, happening actually on Saturday, uh, November 11th. And as far as a federal holiday, it's um, being uh, celebrated on the 10th Friday. Uh, but you've already uh, started honoring veterans that yep. you have. Yeah, we have uh, you know Veteran Appreciation Week, and uh, you know at Parnell we have 36 uh, veterans working with us. And uh, yesterday we started off with a, a flag raising ceremony where we had uh, some members of our our Department of Corrections Honor Guard uh, come and do a flag raising ceremony, and uh, you know staff were welcome to come out and you know watch that. But it's really uh, the beginning of of just saying thank you to our vet veterans for their service. Uh, you know, it, we, you know, the department uh, uh, has done a really good job of hiring folks that have served in our armed forces. You know, my my father was a, a veteran. I was actually born on Air Force Base in the UP, uh, and then my my grandfather, my grandmother, my uncle. You know, I have a lot of family full of uh, uh, folks that have served in of the armed forces, and uh, certainly appreciate all that they've done for for our country and. Uh, you know, it's a great opportunity you know, all week to, you know, for us to celebrate them and thank them and, uh, you know, certainly not enough for what they've done, but certainly appreciate all that they have done and, and hope, hope they, uh, you know, understand that. So Yeah, but, all the service that they provided the country, yeah. still providing service mm -hmm. as corrections officers. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you brought uh, with you today a former uh, corrections officer of the year, Derek Wright. Congratulations. Thank I think you. It was thank you very much couple years ago. Yes, sir. How long have you been a corrections officer? A little over 27 years. Oh my gosh, wow. Your whole career? Yes, sir. How did you get into this uh, position, line of work? Well, there was a career fair at MSU close to my graduation. Uh, it was the corrections uh, officials that drew me in and it, it sounded more promising, stepping stone wise. Uh, and I went with it. Did you think you were going to be here all this time? I did not. <laughs> but uh, the children grew up on me and started going to college as well. So I invested in them. What was your uh, plan when, when you were in, in school? Where, where did you think you were going to end up? Well, my intent was after about 15 years in the department, I was going to lateral to the uh, Department of Treasury. I had got. Um, accepted at Cooley Law mm -hmm. and that kind of fell through because family issues so I had to put on a, my thing on a back burner and I focused on the children getting them through college and, and it turned out excellent. So it provided you and your family a uh, good living? Absolutely. Excellent career, yes. You also, uh, we were talking before the show, you've been uh, quite helpful in training Yes, uh, new members. I uh, did what we call PA 415 update training every year for each officer and staff. And I did that for several years. Now when we get new recruits into the facility, I'm intricate in assisting them in being proficient, efficient at the, at the job. Uh, trying to give them insight and understanding of what we do from day-to-day -day operation. With the thing that's most important is walking out safely. Now you told me, and I think that's one of the selling points uh, as you're recruiting, you don't need anybody with any experience. You'll train them. Correct. Yes. Yep, and uh, you know, we've talked about this. We have an academy, a corrections officer academy, where currently we, we ourselves at Parnell have eight in, in the academy right now. Uh, Mr. Wright was talking about training our new staff. We have five OJTs on site. And, uh, you know, he does a really good job of, you know, sitting down, talking to him about the day-to-day -day job, the level of professionalism, how to carry yourself. You know, having have 27 years experience, you've seen a lot of things, dealt with a lot of situations, maintaining that level of calmness and confidence and understanding what you're doing as a professional and translating in that communication uh, as you're dealing with different situations on a daily basis. 
is instrumental in being successful and uh, Derek's done a really nice job with that and you know he's a go-to when, when we're talking about training our staff and and you know that's coming out of an academy of eight weeks long so then you come and get to spend time with experienced staff like Mr. Wright and it's it's really beneficial because you can't replace experience mm -hmm. and uh, having that knowledge and understanding uh, to be able to communicate that with our newer and younger staff is uh, excellent. And uh, future new and younger staff, uh, they're Maybe they're watching right now and they're being encouraged by you no know, to go to the hiring event that you're having. You've got a few coming up. Yep, we have uh, one coming up uh, next week, November 14th here in Jackson. Again, uh, you know, we're, we're doing on-site interviews. We're doing the PT testing. Uh, you know, we can walk you through the application. We have all the steps right there uh, at, at our, uh, you know, training center uh, here in Jackson. Uh, both uh, November 14th from 9 to 2, and then also again on, uh, I believe it's December 5th coming up as well. Um, so ample opportunities, and certainly you can go to our website at any time uh, to get information in regards to applying for the job, what the job entails, and uh, you know we certainly are available at all times to talk to folks that are interested. Derek, what are some of the questions the newbies have for you? They would like to know if they will ascend to my capability in being able to handle situations on the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, will they be able to garner rapport? Um, can they continue their professionalism, not take things personal, understanding where we are and what our mission is? Which yeah, I would, things I would wonder is, you know, the basics, you know, where do I park, where do I get my uniforms, uh, uh, you know, uh, those kinds of things. But going, coming into a, a working situation where you're working with inmates in a, in a prison, did the um, new recruits express any um, fear or trepidation about that? They have their reservations <coughs> and, and chill because they stick to our hip. They're not allowed to walk alone. They're with a seasoned officer at all times. So we can get them acclimated, give them an understanding of what's, what's taking place, mass movement, going to child. Or to keep your eye out for them. Yeah, how to you know walk the galleries, walk the rocks, get a better understanding and the comfortability, and relieve the anxiety, so to speak. So uh, you're obviously very comfortable after being there 27 years. Officer of the Year, uh, what's, for you, what's uh, job satisfaction? What do you like about the job? I like a quiet, tranquil day. No, no gentlemen arguing or threatening each other. Uh, they will come to me and I would help them sit at the table of reason, logic. We're, you know, our main goal is to go home and be successful when we go home. You mentioned um, honoring veterans. You have uh, three dozen or so as corrections officers. Great, great uh, I guess, transition from serving the military to uh, working at a correctional facility. Absolutely. Um, you know, we have a veterans liaison with the department and uh, certainly welcome all. And, uh, you know, it is a great, great transition. And just, I just want to elaborate on what Derek said real quick about, uh, you know, the impact. You know, he works quite frequently in a housing unit, and the impact he has on, you know, a number of individuals on a daily basis. You know, having that impact, having those conversations, working through challenges, working through concerns, problems, issues, and handling it in an appropriate fashion. You know, someone's done this job for 27 years certainly has had a great impact on individuals that have gone home and remained home and been successful and not recidiv you know, reducing our recidivism as a department. Uh, you know, there's, can't say enough about individuals like uh, Derek and the work that they do on a daily basis. We're certainly fortunate. And, and with him bringing that new staff up, certainly gonna be successful uh, for us moving forward. So that, I just don't want that to get missed at the impact he has. Yeah, great job. And uh, being in prison town, we, we don't hear any, there aren't problems. We're not hearing restlessness. We're not hearing breakouts. We're not. I mean, you guys are doing a great job, obviously. Thank you. 
And if someone's interested in these uh, careers, not just corrections officers, but you've got other openings yeah, food too. service, we have mental health uh, staff, uh, health care staff. I mean, we have a wide variety of programming staff, housing staff. I mean, it's, uh, there's ample opportunity throughout our department, especially here in the Jackson area, um, and certainly wel uh, willing to sit down and talk with anybody interested. Yeah, and if you miss a hiring event, you can just go to michigan.gov slash mdoc. They've got uh, all the details right there, and you're welcome to, I know, um, Noah well, would be welcome to uh, visit with you or talk to you if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, just show up next, next Monday. Great to see you both. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Bart. Appreciate it. Uh, corrections officer, 27-year veteran with uh, Parnell Correctional Facility. Officer Derek Wright and Warden Noah Nagy. Uh, we've got more of the morning show coming up. Stay tuned.